welcome to Front Room Drama and your drama workshop for this week. I'm going to be posting some drama videos that each week will focus on a different aspect of drama. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on using our body in different ways. So let's get started. So we are going to start off with the game Rubber Chicken. I'll talk you through the game first and then we'll do it together. We start off by raising one of our arms and counting down from five, giving it a really good shake. We then swap to the left arm, then we do the same on the legs. Next time round, we count down from four, then three, then two, and then one, finishing at the end by shouting rubber chicken and shaking our whole body. Are you ready to give it a go? Fabulous. Here we go. Raising one arm then. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. 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 Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. One, 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 one. A rubber chicken. everyone I'm very impressed. Now we're all warmed up we're ready to move on to our next game. So this game is called Body Machines. We're going to turn our bodies into machines and try and engage every part of our body by making sure we move every single bit as we create our machine routine. Our machine is going to start on one side and move to the other side. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to have a start button this side and a stop button this side. <laughs> what did you think? I try to move every single part of my body. Let's see if you can do the same. Now, the other thing you can do, if you like, is try and add sound to your human machine. Or, if there's more than one of you, see if you can join your machine up. So one of you has the start button and one of you has the stop and you sort of move between the two of you. See if you can get that to work. Pause the video and have a go and see if you can create your own body machine. So how did you get on? I would love to see your body machines working. Go on, have a go. Put it all together now. You can keep repeating the pattern of the movement as well. Let me have a look. Brilliant! There are some amazing machines. Some are still going. And some of you, there's more than one of you that are working together to create the machine. That is brilliant. Well done. Now our next game, I think, may be one of my favourites. I think you'll like it too. I did a video of it in the Brain Breaks and it's called 10 Second Objects. It's where I give you the name of an object and you have 10 seconds to create it with your body. Now again, if there's more than one of you in the household, you may want to create the object together, but you only can create one object. So you have to work together as a team. Are you ready? Brilliant. Your first object is a volcano. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and freeze! Well done! Brilliant, Volcano! 
volcanoes. Now, this time, see if you can incorporate movement and maybe sound into your 10 second objects. Are you ready? This time I'd like you to make a washing machine. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and freeze. Brilliant work, guys. Well done, everyone. This time, I would like you to make a lighthouse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and freeze. Amazing job. Well done. Now for this final one, I would like you to make Giraffe. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and three. Wow, these ten second objects are amazing. Well done, everyone. So, our last game for today is really going to get us concentrating and thinking about what we're doing with our bodies. Now we're going to start this game off quite simply. I am going to ask you to move around the space that you are in. If I say go, that means I want you to walk around. If I say stop, I want you to stop. If I say jump up high, I want you to do a big jump. If I say touch the floor, you're going to touch the floor for me. If I say go forwards, you'll go forwards. If I say go backwards, you'll go backwards. If I say go slowly, you'll move really slowly. And similarly, if I say quickly, you'll go and walk much quicker. Always, though, say, stay safe in the space you are in. So no running. We're going to stick with the walking. So are you ready? Great. So, go. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Jump up high. Touch the floor. Go. Go backwards slowly. Go forwards quickly. Stop. You have really got the hang of that. Well done. But oh, what's happening? Ooh. Everyone. We have now arrived in the land of back to front. That's right. So everything I say, you need to do the opposite. So if I say go, you stop. If I say stop, you go. If I say jump up high, you touch the floor. If I say touch the floor, you got it. You jump up high. If I say go quickly, you go slowly. If I say go slowly, you go quickly. You've got this. Are you ready? Go. I said go. Go on, go. <gasps> There's no fooling you, is there? Stop. Jump up high. Stop. Touch the floor. Stop. Stop slowly. Stop quickly. Stop quickly backwards. Go. Go. Stop. 
stop slowly. Stop quickly. Jump up high. Stop quickly. Stop slowly. Stop backwards. And go. <laughs> wow. Well done. <laughs> you did brilliantly. That game takes such a lot of concentration and you did so well. Now that is the end of our drama workshop session for today. If you enjoyed the brain breaks that we did last time, don't worry, they are still on the Front Room Drama YouTube channel. There are 50 there, so feel free to pop in, choose the one you like the best or work your way through them if you'd like to use them as your brain breaks. I will see you again next time for another drama workshop. Take care. See you soon.